Okay, so we're calling this video Arduino and on-off. And of course by on-off you probably know in electronics that means the ability to turn things on and off at some desired repetition rate or whatever we want. So what we have here is a pretty simple circuit. We just have a 9 volt battery. Uh, turning on an LED, you can see the LED's on. I chose a blue LED in this case. You can of course choose any color you want. And I have the 100 ohm, that is the brown, black, brown protection resistor sitting in here in series with the resistor. And so the LED is just on. But this is a bit boring. Um, how could we make the LED turn off or flash? And if we could make it flash, how fast can we make it flash? Are we able to change that flash rate? What happened? There's just a lot of things that we might want to do with the LED other than just watch it be on, like it is. So it turns out what we can do is we can turn, go back to the Arduino again. It's this little board that we uh, used in a couple videos ago to figure out gravity due to the Earth's gravity using a pendulum here. We want to look at another aspect of the Arduino. So in that previous video, we looked at an analog input line here. We used A0 to track the motion of a pendulum. Here we're going to look on this other row of headers right here, which are the digital lines. These ones labeled 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 13. Turns out these are digital lines. Just a quickie on uh, the difference between analog and digital here. Analog, remember, we sort of refer to as just being a volt. And just about any voltage you can think of. Now, the Arduino is restricted to between 0 and 5 volts. And we had a little discussion on analog to digital conversion and so on. But generally, those are analog values. 1 volt, 2.7, 1.8, whatever. Some variable voltage in there. That's what analog means. When you heard the word digital now, Digital refers to just two states, on or off. And that's sort of why we're calling our video Arduino on or off. Uh, in computer lingo, on is always a one, off is always a zero. But in electronics now, which is what we're doing, the on, the one is typically plus five volts, and the off is just going to be zero volts. So when we start talking about digital and electronics and things, we're talking about either having a voltage exist there at five volts. So we can see here, it's either going to exist at five volts, or it's not going to be there at all. So it turns out when you go to the Arduino now, and you have this whole row down here of these so-called digital lines right here. It even says right here on the circuit board, digital. We have 13 of these lines here, excuse me, 14 of them, 0 through 13. And what they allow us to do is on demand, at least according to the software, is make a pin high or make it low. And we can do that in just about any manner or fashion that we want. And there's 14 independent lines for doing just that. So why don't we take our, our, our LED circuit here and see if we can connect it to the Arduino. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to decide pretty randomly here that I'm going to use pin 5. So I'm going to count over to 5 there. And I'm going to put one of these jumper wires into pin 5 directly like that. And I'll take pin 5 and put it over here on the input to the resistor. Now this is where the input to the 9 volt battery used to be, but I'm using the Arduino now. I'm not going to use the 9 volt battery directly on the circuit board in this case here. I'm not going to have this red connector here going directly into the circuit board. And of course to complete the circuit, I'll take the output current that comes out of the LED, and I'm going to run that once again into this line on the Arduino that's labeled ground or GND. We discussed that, that GND or ground here sort of always refers to where the current returns to, or in the case of that charge escalator model of a battery, the lowest energy state of the, of the charge. And that ground here is very much like the black lead on the 9 volt battery that we've been using. So red will be like the digital output line, zero will be like the black one there, the ground, return. And so the way I have this wired here, remember we said that digital, if we can turn the digital line on, that'll be 5 volts. So what the Arduino will do, if in the software, we can, if we turn on pin 5, that is make pin 5 high, 5 volts will appear on the line, and that'll be like putting a 5 volt battery across my, res my LED resistor circuit, because I'll have 5 volts on this digital output line, 0 volts over here, there'll be 5 volts total be between these two devices here, and the LED should come on. And then later, if I want to turn it off, all I have to do is make pin 5 0 or low again, so it'll be at 0 volts. And if I have 0 volts over here, and zero volts over here, nothing will come on. So what you can do with the Arduino then, with this wiring of mine, again, coming out of pin 5 and going into ground over there, is we, we put this code into the Arduino here. What we do, we have in our setup thing, remember we said the setup function with the Arduino always tells the Arduino what some initialization things that need to happen at the very beginning of the code. So what we're declaring here is that pin 5, which is the same number of the pin I've decided to wire in on here, we want to make that an output pin. So what that means is the Arduino will send voltages out to the outside world. 
That, of course, is opposed to getting getting voltages from the inside world. Turns out these pins 0 to 14 are sort of bi-directional. We can send voltages out, voltages out, we can also get voltages back. And so we're just telling the Arduino explicitly that we want to do output on pin 5. We want to send voltages to the outside world because that's exactly the voltage that we're going to, we're going to want to power our LED circuit here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get into a loop here. What we're going to do is we're going to use a different command called digital write. And be careful of the capitalization. It is important on the Arduino. It starts with a lowercase d and a capital W right there. Everything else is lowercase. We're just going to say, hey, Mr. Arduino or Mrs., please make pin 5 high, period. And high here, again, is that state of being a 1 or on or plus 5 volts with the Arduino. So we're just going to tell it to make pin 5 high. What that will do is trickle through the software and we'll get 5 volts appearing on pin 5. And if we can get that 5 volts on pin 5, we'll have 5 volts going 5 volts at the top side of the resistor. It'll, the current will get pushed through the resistor and the LED back to ground again. The LED should light. Then what we do, again, internal of the Arduino, we just delay thousand milliseconds so a delay a tenth of a second and then what we'll do is we'll just do the same digital write on pin 5 let's make it low again again low refers to zero or off or the pin being at plus zero volts so no voltage there the LED should go off again then we delay 0.1 seconds again and because it's in this loop statement here without us doing anything after this loop these this segment of code ends it'll go back up to the beginning again and rerun again so guess what we have? We have a light flasher here. Go high, then delay, then go low, then delay, then go high, then delay, then go low, and just do that over and over and over again. So what I'd have here, if I power up the Arduino, is the LED should flash. Now what about powering the Arduino? Well, there's a couple ways of doing that. The first way you can do it is you can just plug this into the USB port of your computer, and the Arduino will draw its power from the USB port. But the U one thing that's beautiful about the Arduino is it's ultra-portable. It'll run on anywhere between... Nine, 7 and 12 volts if you put it into this adapter right here so this um, one of these power adapters right here and so what they sell out there is sort of these 9 volt battery clips so we have one of the power adapters on the end of it right here that'll plug right into the Arduino like that and we can just put this on the same 9 volt battery we've been using throughout this uh, sort of electronics video sequence here so if we do that let's just put our good old 9 volt battery powering the Arduino directly not the breadboard directly um, the power is being used to turn on the Arduino, run the code that we've put in there, this code in particular, and let's just see what happens then. So here we go, we're connecting it, and off we go. And there's the LED flashing. So this is just wonderful here because you have to just imagine the possibilities now. There's 14 digital lines on here. You can have all 14 of them running a different LED and you can just program any sort of pattern you want. If you came back in your code now and maybe changed the hundreds to two hundreds, it would flash slower. Or if you made them smaller numbers, it would flash faster. We just want to encourage you to play around with these things because it's just marvelous what it does. But we hope you understand the logic about what's going on here. Is you're sort of using the Arduino as a power supply and a switch and sort of the brains of a very simple electronic circuit all in one. And that's why these Arduinos have become so popular because it's so simple to do some basic electronics like this that is otherwise kind of difficult to wonder how you would do this because you have to just stop and think then okay I think you know how to turn an LED on with a battery protection resistor but how would you make it flash like that hmm think about that well we're doing the Arduino way here